Hello, people. Welcome back to Global Happening City. We're so excited to have you again. PDP primaries will be taking place nationwide today, and there's a lot of tension because of the issue of zoning. But what we're looking at precisely are the um, governorship candidacies in Abia State. One of them, talking about the senior minority leader, has taken a bold move that has shocked a lot of people. And he has also given reason why he had made the decision he just made some few hours ago. But before we give you full details of uh, Abari's, Abari's move and the reason why he had to take that move, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel. By clicking on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, the senior minority leader and a frontline governorship aspirant of the ruling People Democratic Party PDP in Abia State, Senator Eninaya Baribe, has formally withdrawn from the PDP governorship primary schedule for today, Wednesday. Abaribe, who disclosed his withdrawal from the exercise in a press statement, cited the use of imaginary delegate list and lack of transparency as reasons for his actions. Similarly, another leadership, uh, another leading governorship aspirant from Abia North and former state chairman of PDP, Senator Nwaka, has also said he would not participate in the primaries which he dismissed as a charad. Mwaka expressed disappointment over non-compliance with the due process and the extant laws in the conduct of the three-man delegate congress, which he insisted never held. Senator Baribe also said there was no three-man delegate election anywhere in the state by PDP, alleging that the list being bandied about was cooked up by those who want to impose their candidates on the party. The senior minority leader in a strongly worded statement personally signed by him said his next political moves would soon be made public. Hmm. Below is his full text of the statement made available in Umor here. And according to him, he said notice of non-participation in the BRPDP gubernatorial primaries. The last couple of weeks has been tortuous as we battle hard to navigate our party, the People Democratic Party, PDP, away from a self-destructive path. The essence was to create an unfettered democratic space and a level playing field for all aspirants vying for all elective offices in the state to participate equally in the primary elections. That was not the case, and of course, what we are witnessing is a shambolic process driven by a procure court injunctions. To make matters worse, the use of only an imaginary three-man ad hoc delegates to the exclusion of the party statutory delegates in the primary elections to elect our candidates, even when INIC, the nation's electoral umpire, has unequivocally stated that no progress held in Abia State for that purpose has no doubt put the party and her candidates in a quamare. The implication for our party is grave and as such have put all ongoing primary exercise on quicksand. I am known for standing firm in defense of my conviction for the right of all people to a free and fair democratic process. That was why my campaign set sail on a democratic journey that took us to all the nooks and crannies of our dear state. We cover all the local governments and we could see the enthusiasm on the face of our people who are desirous of change to a progressive government with a human face. We committed human and material resources preaching the rise of Abia message for the total emancipation of our state from the drugery of imposition and godfatherism which has seen the state at the lower rung of infrastructure human and material development index among the states of the federation our people were and are indeed fired up for a new lease of life that will be brought about by a people's government 
There was no doubt that Abians are tired of being subjected to being the boot of jokes and ridicule from their peers, particularly those from the contagious states that are hitherto to far behind Abia State in the development index in the time past. That was the narrative we sought to change when the campaign took off. Unfortunately, the ugly development ignited by a rapacious ambition to maintain the wicked governance status, status quo of imposition and governorism have aborted this quest in PDP. Accordingly, the senator in Inaya Harcourt Abarebe will not be part of this charade. I am therefore withdrawing from the exercise, which means that I will not be part of the PDP governorship primary election that holds in Abia State on Wednesday, 25th day of May 2022, as doing so would have amounted to endorsement of as illegality that is already being challenged in the courts. I therefore ask all our people, our teaming supporters and debos to remain calm, keep the faith and wait for the new direction which will be announced very soon. What is important is that the campaign to liberate Abia State would surely assume a new dimension the state is now. Thank you all always been there for me and the campaign. Together we shall try triumph. Those were the words of Eninaya Abaribe. So he is no more among those running for governorship in under the platform of People Democratic Party. According to him, what they have seen as delegates are actually not what was expected, which already is a pointer to the fact that Godfatherism has taken over PDP and uh, no need to waste time and waste resources going out to call campaign or going out to do anything because he's very sure that he will lose at the end of the day. And, you know, that will add to his political career that at the time, there was a certain very renowned Igbo man by name, Ninaya Baribe, who contested for governorship in his own state and couldn't win anything. And, you know, that can kind of reduce your pedigree and all of that. I think that's why he decided not to go in for it again. But, you know, if you have been following the train of this politi poli particular political wahaha, you realize that Eninaya Barabe had already been told the ideal truth, with, which is the issue of power rotation. And unfortunately, he's from the same place like Iqbayazu, and uh, there's no way they can give to the south twice. At least he must go to the north or go to the central just to balance the equation. But he doesn't see it from that perspective. For him, everyone, according to the Constitution, can vote and also be voted for. So right now, um, there's nothing he can do than to take a walk. But he said he has also another plan. Let's wait to see what he will announce a few days from now. That's where we would like to leave it. Go to our comment section. Let's interrupt.